uh, engineer Samir and uh, our uh, talented rider Mr. Karim Zoubi. Uh, first, congratulations on all the achievements that are actually spectacular. Uh, congratulations, uh, Karim, on the on the dedication, the riding, the perseverance. Uh, I understand that uh, that the mayor also is owned by by engineer Samir. So let me start by getting your impressions before and after, engineer Samir. Well, before uh, you know, I want to add something, or actually confirm what you have just said on uh, me as an owner and a horseman. Uh, I have lived with Karim uh, the last six weeks uh, for a month's preparation before we came here to uh, Rio and a couple of weeks here in Rio. And uh, what happened during these six weeks as far as I'm concerned as a horseman and as an owner I couldn't wish for any better and uh, for me to say this there is uh, no chance that somebody can translate it that I'm complimenting him because I think I have enough knowledge I have been in this sport from 1959 59 till now uh, so at least uh, I have uh, seen 40 years of uh, actual competition and 30 of them at least at this high level. Uh, so what I'm saying is an absolute uh, true statement uh, and of an ap appreciation for a trainer, owner, uh, horse lover, uh, horseman to a rider uh, of the capability of Karim. Of course, I, Karim is like my son. But at the end of the day, I had a benefit, uh, other than he is my son, that to see my mare, everything happened to it to perfection. And what he did was exactly this word, perfection. Okay, uh, we didn't get the result, but that's the name of the game. And who cannot stand the heat of the kitchen is better get out. I have to, I have to add one thing, that the creed of the Olympic Games is not the it's not the, the to conquer but to have fought well and that's what he did and what the mayor did and uh, everybody and i know your followers as well and the followers of your magazine have seen that and uh, they not just see it they could feel it i have to add one thing that this is your second horse in olympic games isn't that right that's true uh, the first time was 1984 with the British team, and when I finished, I had an internal wish. Only the close people to me knew it when we were talking about horses, because I always kept horses and I produced horses all the last 30 years. Uh, when they asked me if I have another horse to go to the Olympics, uh, who would I give it to? And I said, if, I, if it is written for me, I want to do it with an uh, Egyptian rider and uh, God gave me my wish. So being a greedy human being, immediately we're finishing this Olympics. I'm asking God if for I a third still wish. have for a third wish that next time, not only with Karim, but with a full Egyptian team. Inshallah, inshallah, God bless. And uh, Karim, please give us your impressions. How was the way to the Olympics? This mayor, I, I remember you competed in Normandy two years ago in the World Equestrian Games. How, how was the path since then? Well, uh, first of all, um, my, uh, he's like my father, <clears throat> not the owner. But first of all, uh, if it's not for him, and uh, well, we are not going to be here. Because uh, <coughs> Samir uh, refused offers for this mayor the last uh, year and a half, mm -hmm. and <coughs> just for me and for her to go to the games. So for sure, this is something that uh, is highly appreciated. I wish people would do that in general, 
you see it with the horses that are the top three today. It's a teamwork with the owners, with the uh, grooms, with the vets, with the... It's all, people don't understand that it's a, a, a very big team walking behind that horse. The horse is pulling a big, big car full of people. And uh, Samir was the leader of this uh, car. And for me, uh, I appreciate that uh, he didn't sell the horse. And this is something very difficult. And uh, I love him for it, you know. Uh, I presume, of and course, as we, that, uh, as we are stating facts, I'm sorry that I did not mention Wael, but Wael is the El Gondil Maghul in, in our formula, because now we are stating facts. Wael is a co-owner of that mare, like Karim is a co-owner of that mare. The three of us, we are, this mare belongs to us, and we made it available for Egypt, with all the sacrifices that each one of us did according to his ability so if you don't mind me I want to just thank Wael who is not present with, with us here which, who I wished that he would have been with us but he was always with us with his heart um, people think that the, that the sport has turned into a pure industry what I'm seeing now is again a pure sport which one is it well it's uh, it's both you see it's both on the highest level but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, whoever does the biggest level in the world understands what we're talking about, that there is a sacrifice. And that sacrifice you see today with the gold medalist. And the gold medalist uh, took that horse as a young horse and had his ups and had his downs and had his offers and his counter offers. And he kept the horse and God bless him, uh, he gave us hope that the sport still exists. So uh, we all know that sport exists, and if you're a real sportsman in your heart, you know what happened today was sports at its highest level, and not uh, industry. And if you have people like Nick, and people like Samir, and people like Well, and people like all the people around me, you understand that uh, it takes a lot to reach something. And uh, you asked me in the beginning about the mayor, I think this mare is one of the best horses Egypt will ever see, representing uh, it. But you have to take in consideration this horse stays in Egypt for three years. Mm. And Samir realized the mare had potential and kept her away from shows and a lot of things and believed in her. And uh, so this mare is today 11 years old, but if you want to be realistic, you said Normandy. She jumped her first 145 uh, before Normandy with four months. So she is like a nine-year-old today. And she's carried us with her heart through a lot. And this is something that uh, has to be given to this mare, that her heart is bigger than anything in the world. And she's a fighter more than everything in the world. And she deserves better, but we're not yet there. We're just starting. Uh, if England had uh, or has Nick, Egypt, inshallah, and already is, we have Karim. And Nick have, is uh, uh, is 59 uh, uh, this 59 year, years and this old, is his uh, first medal. But this is his first medal. This is what happens, and there is a lot of good riders that they go through their careers, and they win a lot of Grand Prix, mm. but they don't see a medal. Mm. It's at the end of the day when you think about it. It's a medal every four years. True. So 60 years means 15 Olympics, so it's 15 medals. But there shows during the year that there brings horses and build up to this and build up to this. Uh, it is not like our sport, it's not like athletics and it's not like uh, swimming. It's the, the, the lifespan is very big. It's very long and it has it, it relies on a big chunk of experience from the rider and from the horse. Well, uh, what actually was achieved is spectacular and great and is beyond anything that has been achieved uh, since, as they say, the golden ages of Egypt. 
So I congratulate you one more time, uh, Karim, for being so determined, so adamant about the goal you have in mind, and Samir for being such a sportsman and being a godfather in the game for very, very long. And I'll kiss him to finish the conversation mm -hmm. because he is uh, my son and he is going to be the, at the moment, he's the golden boy of Egypt now and for the years to come. Inshallah. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.